everyone. Oh, wow, that is way louder than I expected it to be. Um, first and foremost, want to thank the foundation for putting this event on um, and for inviting us to speak here. My favorite thing in the world is being able to talk to really cool, smart people who are working on awesome projects, and this is the perfect space to do that. So very, very excited to be here um, and talking about the work we're doing at Filecoin Green. Um, anytime I talk about what we're working on at Filecoin Green, I like to start with kind of a broad picture overview of where we are as far as the climate crisis. So basically, um, I'm going to make all of you feel really sad right now about the climate and where we are. Um, but hopefully by the end of this, you'll feel inspired to get involved in the work we're doing at Filecoin Green. Um, there is a report that came out last week called the United, Nat or, yeah, United Nations Environmental Programs Emissions Gap Report. It shows us um, where we need to be by 2030 um, as far as the rem emissions and where we are currently and what's the gap between those things. Um, the last report that came out this past week um, showed us that we are pretty off base for where we need to be according to the Paris Climate Goals to keep global warming um, under 1.5 degrees Celsius. Uh, basically, we need to cut emissions by 45% in the next eight years, which is a big task, and it's going to take everybody in this world um, doing something to be able to do that. And um, that kind of plays into why Filecoin Green exists and our um, small role kind of in this world. So. Um, Filecoin Green started as a project, as an initiative to make Filecoin itself verifiably sustainable, to take a look at the environmental impacts and the energy use of the network as a whole in a very transparent, verifiable way. Um, and with that, being able to build the world's best tools for measuring and reducing environmental impacts in a Web3 native way, utilizing blockchain. Um, and so that's where this initiative started. And um, some of the ways that we've done that so far um, are by taking a look at the energy use of the Filecoin network as a whole. So um, we have measured the energy use of the entire Filecoin network as well as individual storage providers, and we've turned it into an energy use dashboard. You can go to energy.filecoin if you want to check it out. It's super cool. Um, and in doing this, we have become the most transparent blockchain in the world for um, electricity consumption and being able to see that in a really verifiable, granular way. That is just the first step, obviously. Um, and this is something, again, we're continuing to iterate on, continuing to improve upon. We recently joined the World Economic Forum's Crypto Sustainability Coalition, which is taking a look at how can we um, continue to take these models of um, energy use um, and blockchain, improve upon them, set some standards. So we're actively involved in that. Um, and taking what we do at Filecoin beyond just this network into the greater ecosystem of Web3 and blockchain and then into other, uh, the broader economy. Um, so we evaluated the energy use, and with that, we were able to connect the network with renewable energy, um, allowing storage providers to show exactly where and how they're getting the renewable energy and how they're using that renewable energy to store client data. Um, we actively support Filecoin storage providers who want to become more sustainable in their operations, so giving them the tools they need to do so to report on those things, um, giving them guidance. We have a whole document um, called Green Guidance for Storage Providers. You should totally check out if you're a storage provider and you want to greenify your operations. Um, and we also have grant opportunities as well. And um, building an environmental Web3 developer community. Um, this kind of intersection of blockchain and sustainability is so important, and we want to build um, community around that, not only within the Filecoin ecosystem, but in the broader Web3 community. Um, so I want to talk about something that's very exciting for us and our team, and that is um, our, our most recent product that we launched, CO2.storage. Um, CO2.storage allows, uh, it's free decentralized storage for environmental, environmental assets on Filecoin, on IPFS. Um, digital environmental assets are things like carbon offsets, renewable energy certificates, and a problem specifically for tokenized carbon credits, which if you want to talk more about, you should find me after, because I could talk about it for 10 hours and I don't have that amount of time up here. Um, what CO2.storage allows is um, there's a lot of data fragmentation when it comes to carbon offsets, and this uh, product that we've built uh, allows token carbon token carbon credit producers to build their own data schemas, to um, store those data schemas and the associated data on Filecoin, on IPFS with content addressing. And basically, 
that's a lot of words. What it boils down to is there's going to be a ton of environmental data coming onto the Filecoin network, which is super duper exciting and has opened up a whole world of potential for other things that we can do on top of this. So this is something that we're really proud of. Our team has been working really hard on that this past year, um, and it just launched. It's in pre-alpha. Um, we highly encourage people to get involved in improving on that. We don't want it to be just something that our team works on. Um, we're really adamant about decentralizing our work and bringing everybody this to the table to improve on these things. Um, something else that our team has been doing this past year is our Sustainable Blockchain Summit, um, SBS. This is, um, I'm obviously very biased, but my favorite conference ever, Phil Lisbon, second but it's a close call. Uh, sustainable Blockchain Summit is again at this intersection of Web3 blockchain technology and sustainability, and it brings experts from both of those worlds together to talk about the projects that they're working on, find ways to support one another, and um, most of all, collaborate. Um, we can't solve the climate crisis in, cri in silos, so by coming together and having a space where these two very different worlds can come together and talk about solutions um, is very important. Our most recent one was in Bogota, Colombia, um, right around DevCon. We had over 250 participants, 30 expert speakers, um, and we're gonna be continuing to do these in the next year. We will um, very soon be announcing where SBS Q1 is going to be. Um, I, can't, I can't tell you yet, but it's gonna be very exciting. This is one of those things that you don't want to miss. Um, obviously, again, kind of biased, but it, it is the most incredible group of people. I come up from a background in social impact and sustainability, and I have never met more passionate, amazing, incredible people than in this kind of intersection of blockchain and sustainability. Just the best group of people to be around. Um, to wrap up, I want to talk a little bit about this uh, crazy graph that we have on the screen here, which is kind of the structure of Filecoin Green, and something our team has talked a lot about this uh, over the last few months, and as we're going into 2023, is how can we decentralize the work that we're doing? We don't want the products, the tools, um, all the things that we're working on to just be Filecoin Green things. We want to make sure that, again, we're building all these tools with enough granularity that it can, or excuse me, with enough generality that it can be applied to other blockchains and even beyond this Web3 ecosystem. So these are kind of all the elements that um, the Filecoin Green team touches, the Filecoin network as a whole, storage providers, um, working with auditors to verify the claims, um, the, the environmental claims of storage providers, um, working with uh, tokenized carbon offset people, um, working with other people, working with environmental data. Um, these are all the kind of elements that we touch and what we're really um, adamant about people getting involved. So if you have skills or knowledge or interest in any of these things, we want to bring you into the Filecoin Green fold. Um, we joke a lot that like everyone who talks to us is part of the Filecoin Green team, but we, we really truly mean that. If you are interested and passionate about these things, we want you to, to join us in this journey. Um, so some of the things that we need help building, and I hope to talk to some of you guys about how you can, how you can join us in this. Um, if you're storing sustainability data, environmental data, we want to help you store it on Filecoin, and we want to understand what are the needs for storing it, what are the needs for managing that data that we can help address by building tools or through grant programs, um, just being able to support that community. Um, we need a better user experience in a lot of things. But for sending data to and receiving attestations from auditors in this kind of process of uh, measuring the impacts of the network, and um, this is something that you know is really beneficial not only for storage providers, for the network as a whole, but that we can continue to scale outside of the Filecoin ecosystem. Um, there's a ton of research to do on embodied emissions. You know, uh, electricity use, scope one and two emissions are like, the, the easiest emissions to calculate. And what we really need to get more research going into is um, that scope three emissions, things like embodied emissions, e-waste and crypto networks. So if you were interested in that and doing research on that, we want you involved in that process with us. Um, we also want to build the greenhouse gas protocol into Web3 um, using Web3 tools to make network-wide claims, um, storage provider claims, um, more granular, more verifiable. How can we build this beyond the Filecoin ecosystem into supply chains, into industries? Something that I am very interested in is what is the role of zero knowledge in this and how can we um, do these things kind of trustlessly? And so that is Filecoin Green. Um, I, like I said, can talk about this for 10 days straight. So if you want to talk more about what we're doing and how you can get involved, please find me. Um, you can also find us on Filecoin Slack or at Filecoin Green on Twitter. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, uh.